Like this might be the coolest laptop that I've ever seen in my entire life. It's so awesome. This is a 13.3 inch OLED Windows detachable laptop. This cover stand gives up to 170 degree hinge movement. It has Wi-Fi 6. You can quick charge up to 60% in just 30 minutes. You've got dual cameras. There's a 13 megapixel rear and a five megapixel front. Fingerprint login, Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision, up to 3.3 gigahertz Intel quad core CPU. Asus Pen 2.0 with four interchangeable pen tips. The display has a Corning Gorilla Glass. The keyboard is an Asus ErgoSense keyboard. And for ports, we've got two USB PC, an audio jack, and a micro SD card reader. Today I have a very, very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself to my audience and let them know why you're sitting here and what we have in front of us? Thank you so much, Justine. I'm very happy to be here. My name is Philip Colbert, otherwise known as the Lobstar or the Lobster. I'm very excited to have um, collaborated with Asus on the 13th Slate OLED. For me, it was, it's an amazing opportunity because computers are very much at the forefront of art making today. It seemed like a really cool collaboration to actually really you know, get involved with the actual computer itself and some of the accessories, which I'm excited to show you. And I'm excited because obviously somebody who reviews a lot of tech, I love art and I also love lobsters. If some of you guys have been uh, on my channel for a long time, you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Are you still taking photos? Do you see my shoes? And a lot of your art has to do with lobsters. Do you want to give kind of just a quick little, I guess, overview of like why the lobsters? Well, I, I tell people that I became an artist when I became a lobster. And I think that symbolizes to me the, the freedom of art, how that within Within art, we can be whoever we want to be, and we can create our own worlds, and we can really push the boundaries of and express and exercise freedom. Ultimately, I think in, in art, regardless of where people are from, they can really achieve a, a sense of expression and a sense of identity that maybe wasn't necessarily there to begin with, or something that they can really create. And I, I love that about art, and it's a very empowering and positive um, human, um, you know, important uh, expression. So. I guess, yeah, the lobster for me is my persona, my artistic persona, and I think it also underpins the, my belief in creating your own world as an artist and building like a universe and, and bringing people on a sort of intellectual journey and experience and ideally creating new language. I think of the lobster as like putting a flag into like no man's land in some crazy conceptual wasteland and then building a... Um, an intellectual theme park. And I feel like that's what you did with this. And I have not looked up anything about this yet. I mean, other than like some specs, because I wanted to have an authentic unboxing reaction and experience to this. So I guess kind of leading into this device, what was it like for you kind of working in this medium? Because you've worked in so many different mediums, like yeah. basically spanning the entire gamut of things that you could create. I, I'm very interested in, in multimedia. And for me, that's the phenomenon of today, making art in a way that crosses different genres and creates a holistic, it, it, experience to art and I think certainly working with Asus has been an amazing experience. I think the level of detail we've really put into developing the product was a very long amazing process of just really pushing the detail. I think as we unbox you'll see that there's so many little attention to details which for me is there's, there's so much of an art in, in product detail. Look at this like every like even this these details. Yeah I, I might use it as a suitcase actually. You can take this back with you. Yeah do you think I can use it on the flight yeah, back to London? Because actually you're not from here. Yeah. I think I could fit the shoes in there. You know, my <laughs> folded Y fronts. Right, are you ready to do the unboxing? Let's unbox, Justine, let's do it. This has been sitting here for days and I have been waiting to open this up. I couldn't find my machete, but I have some throwing axes, so. Wow. I think this will, we'll just use one of these to open it. Look at that. Yeah, precise. And that's all we needed to do. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. Wait, there's a little figure too? Yes, there's Look a figure. The no way. That's your quote. Yes, indeed, the quote is there. So everything about this already is awesome. Like I like the whole presentation. I know this is this is also about the, the product, but look how cute this is. Yeah, I'm very happy we made the figure. I think that was the for me the really playful way of taking almost like a making a little sculpture edition that interacted with the um, the, the pen for the pad and, and creating a, a, a fun little crossover between actual genuine sort of sculptural piece and the sort of the you know the interior scene of having the actual laptop set up and everything. Is that why his hands are or That's his claws? That's why they're in that position, yes. To hold they, the stylus? Dali made a lobster telephone. Now we have a lobster pen holder. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. So now we have the Vivo book here. Oh, this is a whole, oh my gosh, this is really a whole experience. Yeah, there are lots of different things going on in there. So the device is actually in here. 
Is this a little carrying case? That is a carrying case, yes. Now Libby the Lobster has a full lobster set for her digital experiences. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, like you can just hold it like that? Like this is great. Yeah, so this pattern is obviously my name in various sort of like brand logo styles and then with the Asus um, branding mixed in. I wanted the box to be like super fun. Charm box. You have to open it up. What, it, what lobster is Lobster charms. What is this? These are Little so cute. lobsters. Look at this. Oh, that is so... Yes, yeah, so you, you attach these to the um, exterior of the, the, the laptop. So many accessories. Yeah, you've got to see the laptop itself. Okay, that yes. The... Dun, 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 dun. Here we are. Do a little slice. Have you done an unboxing of this yet? You know, I have, but I think I've only done an unboxing with the, the prototypes, really, mm -hmm. when they would arrive at the studio. I don't think I've ever witnessed necessarily a full unboxing of the final product. Do you want to... Do this. Well, Just, yeah, this I can like get involved in go. this unboxing. There you go. Here we go. So I think you have to do the honors on this one. Okay. Oh, I like can the show packaging. you some other elements because it keeps on going. Just even There's more. still more. So actually, this is the um, the key component, mm -hmm. of the actual tablet itself. Oh, I like this little Velcro here too. That's cute. This is our screen. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's my signature and little doodle of the lobster. That's so there. great. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. That's what you attach the charms to. This is really fun. It's actually like a little sticker pack, which you can then stick onto the keyboard. No way. Do customizable stickers. Oh, that's going to be a fun little project for later today. <laughs> my kids love stickers. Do they have any influence on yeah, any of the decisions well, I, here? I love when my kids are in the studio because I guess my work is very, I, I'm very drawn to very like recognizable symbols and the power of almost this poetry. Mm -hmm. These symbols that all everyone is, is familiar with and very, um, you know, let's say loaded with meaning. The, the sort of holiness of the every, the power of the everyday, whether it's food objects or, you know, the food sort of things or, or objects that we all interact with every day. And I think these things have are, are dripping with poetic meaning. So my kids also love the connection of these. It's a bit like cooking, you know, you take two symbolic ideas and putting them together and it creates a little explosion. I like to go and like get everything out and see what we're working with. Oh, more stickers. More stickers, yes. I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's unbox them. Free the lobster. I always like to smell things when mm, unboxing. Yes, yeah. Oh, that reminds me of my childhood. Like that smell when you no, like, it's amazing, yeah. unbox like How a fresh smells. toy. Do you want to smell it? Just, yeah, just give it. Yes, yep. it's a genuine yep. lobster. <laughs> it's a genuine lobster. Okay, now we have officially unboxed everything. So what do we have here? Where is the pen for the lobster? We've missed something. There's a whole other little section. We've got our power adapter. Yeah, we needed the power adapter. And here is the most important. So now we have everything unboxed. We've got the little stylus, and that is what the little lobster is gonna hold. Yes, so I'm just gonna open this. Do you this. need an ax? Yes, that would be a great idea. An ax for the pen. Careful, because it is very sharp. <laughs> Typing in the shining. Voila, okay, here we go, we got a pen. Look at that. So the pen sits in there, and then there's also, do you know this is the other thing that goes on the pen? There's so many little accessories. Like, I feel like this would be, if this is like your first device that you've ever got, you're gonna be let down severely everything after this because there's so much there's a lot going fun on little here. accessories. Look at that, it's like a little flag. So the next vital step, we attach this guy on here and then we can open her up like so. And so that's just like our little yeah, back to keep a, it Yes, that's a little back and then have your, you stick him here. Where do these go? These charms go on the back. Computers, I think people love to customize, you know, make, add their own things and play around with it a bit. But I feel like I want a little lobster here. Are you left or right-handed? Right. Okay. Very well placed. Nice, there we go. So I'm not gonna put you through me putting every single sticker yes, on right now. you can enjoy doing that later. But I will be definitely doing this later, which is gonna look so cool because you have one for every single key and that's gonna completely turn this into an, like, an, a very unique experience. So like devices like this, I feel like are changing the way that people are able to create because before I feel like you had to be at home, you had to be in your studio, you had to have all of your stuff where yeah. you could basically be anywhere creating and doing things with devices like this. Completely, I find I spend um, so much time on 
I'm traveling, you know, with, with the tablet and the pen, just, you know, drawing on, on the tablet, it's amazing. These tablets are, in a way, mobile creative studios, and it, which is amazing. The fact that, I mean, it's one of the, the, the remarkable things about technology has it's made the artistic practice so democratically accessible. And, you know, how you can create and upload your work immediately on, online, it's pretty remarkable. It's so fascinating. So and even, like, working kind of in this medium, like, what was your biggest challenge? Well, I think always the challenge with when one is making, you know, let's say in brand collaborations with art is obviously making sure one doesn't lose the integrity of one's work in, in the collaboration. But I think with Asus, the, the, you know, I was really happy with the fact that we could really put so much work into the detail. Yeah, I mean, even the case too. Oh my gosh, like everything just, it's just fun. But what was really exciting about the project is because I have a metaverse. I have, I think, probably the world's biggest artist metaverse on Decentraland. So I have my own city, Lobsteropolis. And so we created an Asus uh, Colbert store in um, in Lobsteropolis, where we had product displays and everything in the metaverse. And for the opening of the um, the launch of the laptop, we had a full big event. I think like a thousand the different lobster avatars turned up. And and what's amazing is I love the the fact that the, the laptop itself is obviously a gateway to my meta to my metaverse. So I'm going to be going more in depth in this laptop, giving you guys a closer look at all of the details. But since you're here, let's talk more about your art and kind of how you got started, because I'm actually a new fan of your art. Despite being you know, someone that never did very well at school or anything. I always had a malfunctioning, you know, in my wiring that was like, I could do anything. And well, I could just believe that anyone could do anything. And it wasn't that I was special or had any particular skills beyond anyone else. I was just, you know what, I think, if you set your mind on something and you work hard at it, I think anyone can do anything. So I always had that belief. If I work hard at something and, you know, I have a belief in it, then it'll happen. Speaking of journey and kind of going into another dimension, I mean, you definitely took this Vivo book into another dimension and I'm so excited about it. And I look forward to everyone else checking out this and your art. So thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's yeah. been a pleasure. This is so fun. And it's a little mini lobster convention. Is there anything else you want to let them know, or like where they should find you, or well, where I did, they should I did, go first? I did, brought a small gift for you as did well. You? But But I don't know whether we need to have it on thing, but- I mean, can, we might as well. well. Well, first of all, just to go with your, with your Asus um, pen holder. No way! You, a little lobster figure. Look at and this! And then also, this is actually for Libby the, lo the lobster. Oh, I'll have to give it to Libby when, yes. next time I see her. Okay. As, as, as part of the lobster fraternity. Yes. Okay, I was Serious just going to say because like bling. your chain was so freaking so, cool. I, I'm I'm the cardinal lobster, this and you're sort of the gold. Okay, like you're going to see lobster. me walking around Los Angeles with. The, okay, well, I mean, I have to give it to Libby. Not this is not for me. But oh, yes, you can this, share it. Perhaps. This is so cool. Yeah. Oh wow, this is like the best day ever. Thank you so much. Do you want to let them know where they can find you online? You have to come check out the Metaverse of Lobsteropolis in Decentraland, ideally through the ASUS um, collaborative yeah. Lobster Laptop. And yes, yeah, so check out Lobsteropolis and um, and also the art project Lobstars. I think it'll be really fun for you guys to see the um, the crazy world of Lobstars. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much. I'll give you a high five. This is claws. Great. High, high claws. Wait. Claw five. Is that? Is this a claw? Is that right? High claw. A high <laughs> claw. Yes. so much fun interviewing Philip about his art and his collaboration on this VivoBook 13 Slate OLED. So now I am even more excited to do a little customizing of my own with all of these really cool stickers. I did get a little head start, so I have a few stickers here already, but I need to put all of these onto the actual keyboard. So I am just so excited to put these stickers on. Let's go. Oh no! What have I done? I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. <laughs> The good news is these aren't super sticky, so they're very easy to put on. I was worried for a second that this was gonna be very difficult, but it's actually not. We did it, we did it. All of the keys are covered and they look incredible. I've still got a few more stickers here. So I think I might just put this little eggy right here. I also think that I wanna switch out this little yellow mesh for the red, because why? Because we can. Let's pop off our little charms and let's, let's see how this works. 
snap our little charms back on. I love the red, this looks great. There you go, hold on to my stylus. So here's what it looks like, and this is the removable stand. This is just magnetic, and oh, look at that. A little surprise lobster. <laughs> There's so many surprises, you just never know what this laptop is gonna bring to you. And this is just magnetic, so this snaps right on to the back, which allows you to put it in different positions. Right up here is your fingerprint sensor and the power button, so this is a nice little one-touch login, which is super easy and convenient. And, oh my goodness, even the actual desktop background, when you start this up, it even has a Philip Colbert look to it. We've got the eggs, and we've got our little lobster. Now this is a magnetic keyboard as well. This pops right off, just like so, so you're able to use this as a tablet, or if you wanna use the keyboard, you just Snap it back on and extend the little back hinge and you're now in laptop mode. I really love two-in-one devices like this because there are times when I'm watching content and I don't even need a keyboard and I can just detach this just like so and I can use this as a tablet. And it's nice too because I can even take off this back magnetic cover so we don't even need to have this on. It is kinda cool because you can just flip it around and you can rotate it so that you can use it in different views, which is quite nice. So we're gonna flip it back around. We've got our little stylus here. So we need to connect our stylus and it's really cool because when you just pull this out just like that. This will give you access to your USB-C port so that you're able to charge it and get it set up with your device. Another thing that is really cool is I showed you guys this during the interview, but this is the little sleeve that you can use. And I love that this also has so many cool designs on it. It's very, very custom. And I promise you, there's not gonna be many people if you walk into a coffee shop that is gonna have the same laptop as you. So it is definitely a conversation starter. So let's see what it looks like inside of here. So inside here we've got two little sides, which is nice because you can probably fit a few other things in there. Perfect fit. And there it is. I love this thing so much. It's so cool. I didn't even see the bottom of the keyboard. Look, it even has the little Lobster Bear logo on it too. How many secrets are hidden in here? How many things are on this laptop that I didn't even get a chance to even realize were on here? I don't know. If you guys wanna get more information about the Vivo Book 13 Slate OLED, I'll put a link in the description. A huge thank you to ASUS for partnering with me on this video, and a huge thank you to Philip for hanging out and chatting with me, and not only talking about his art, but the thought process and creation that went into creating this Vivo Book 13 Slate OLED. I am so excited to get a chance to play with this device more, and I'm even more excited that I got to give you guys this inside look at what went into actually creating this beautiful artistic masterpiece. This is so fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Justine. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. I do a lot of different types of videos, mostly focusing on tech reviews. If you guys wanna subscribe, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos and leave me a comment below and let me know what kind of videos are your favorite. And also, if you were a lobster, what kind of outfit would you wear? I'm very into this little matching suit jacket and pants combo. Love it.